Hey guys, so welcome back. <clears throat> Ooh. <clears throat> All right, so welcome back guys. I look super chunky right now. I am officially 35 weeks. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Almost there. So I just wanted to kind of do a video on how I got my dream nursery for under $300. And also, is that a hair? Sorry. And also, um, just some budgeting tips. Um, this is obviously my first baby, so I didn't know how much stuff cost until it was time to start buying stuff. <laughs> then I realized, ooh, babies are really expensive. Like, this is kind of robbery, but whatever it is, what it is. So, I'm going to just go ahead and dive right into it because, you know, I get a little long-winded. So, we're going to start with, hopefully the way I edit this, I'm going to give you guys like a tour of it. But... Um, one thing is I decided on a corner nursery because it just kind of made sense. Um, I don't really know any parents personally who had a child, an infant, newborn, or a little baby sleep in another room until they got older. So I didn't really see the purpose in filling up my other room as a nursery when she's never going to be in there. So I just kept that one a guest room. And my room is big enough to fit a nursery in here and decide without getting in my way. So I decided on a corner nursery. So that was one. Um, so I'll just get right into it. I wrote stuff down because I forget. <laughs> Baby brain. Oh, and here's how big I am. Baby girl hood. She is so big and I have no idea why. Me and her dad are so small. Um, but she's measuring at six pounds and four ounces already and I'm only 35 weeks. So yeah, I'm going to be giving birth to quite a large child. Um, so diving into it first was the crib. Um, I wasn't going to get a crib anyway because I knew I was just going to get a co-sleeper for her to lay next to me. But this crib actually converts to a toddler bed. So when she gets older, she can use the bed up until she's like five or six. So I was like, boom. Um, I used um, several different things on here. So the app that I use most is called OfferUp. Um, it's an app, if, as long as you have a smartphone, you should be able to download it. Um, and the thing I love about OfferUp is that you can rate and review the people that you're buying and selling from so you know pretty much if it's going to be a waste of time or not because it can be kind of sketchy um with buying like craigslist offer up facebook market what is it so spoiled my first my first girl say hi oh poppy i'm not picking you up honey you too big no Oh my god, it's so annoying. So anyway, um, all right, I'm not playing with you, Poppy. You're doing too much. So I got an offer up. There was a lady who was selling a perfectly good crib for fifty dollars. Come here, cause you get on my nerves. Come here, for fifty dollars. And I was like, ooh, I gotta hop on that. Um, so I got that. That was an awesome deal, you know. And it's kind of you know. I know you're gonna be like really skeptical when you um poppy seriously you're gonna be kind of skeptical when you're looking at certain stuff because you're like why is it so cheap um but that's because you never know what people are going through honestly i mean i'm not gonna get into their whole story but people are going through things so okay you gotta get down people are going through things so they tend to try to sell things to hurry up and try to make money for whatever they need so that was kind of the situation with the crib i actually ended up giving her a little bit more um just to kind of help her situation out a little bit um because we all go through it you know and it's nice to have people who can help if they can so i got the crib for 50 dollars the mattress was a memory foam mattress i got it for ten dollars wow um also the bedding i don't know if you can even see it hopefully i can edit the video to where you can see everything but the bedding is by baby bella retails at 280 dollars who sells stuff for that much it's so crazy to me 280 dollars it's 200 without the the crib bumper this little thing that surrounds the whole crib i don't know if you can see that can you see that 
yeah so um that's just eighty dollars by itself it's sold separately and i was like i cannot buy that like i would stroke out and i didn't want to put that on my registry because it's so many other important things that my baby actually needs so i was like Ugh. but lord and behold god is so faithful i found a lady who was selling the thing for like 80 bucks and i was like amen so i got it um i got a white fall fur rug did i say it right fall faux you guys know what i'm trying to say um i got that at hobby lobby um it was 16.99 a yard i got one yard i had a 40 percent off coupon which is always available just go on the website or download the retail me not app and type in hobby lobby and you get 40 percent off and so i end up getting it for ten dollars which i'm also going to use in the future for like her pictures um any type of advertisement for companies that i'm doing like it just comes in handy so um oh it's actually right there in the corner mm -hmm. but um so that was that i also got um a glider ottoman they're so expensive in the store the cheapest one is like 150 dollars, and it's not even comfortable you have to pay like 200 plus 300 plus for like a really comfortable glider and ottoman you know for when you're nursing or relaxing with baby and i was like y'all i'm cheap i'm sorry i was just like that's so much money i get it it's furniture but that's just too much i don't want to put it on my registry because i really tried to stick with stuff that i really needed for baby um on the registry so i went out searching on offer up i came across this lady who was selling it for 20 dollars, the glider and the ottoman and i was like okay it was ugly <laughs> like it was ugly but it was not broken or messed up or anything. It had like slight staining on the fabric. Um, and I was just like, it's probably super uncomfortable, but let me just go by and look at it. So I went by, you guys, I kid you not. I sat in so many gliders and babies are us. My glider is amazingly comfortable. It is so comfortable. Like I couldn't believe it. And the lady was just trying to get rid of it and get it out of her house. And like I said, the fabric was super ugly. So what I did, I went to Hobby Lobby, I went through all the fabric, I picked out the fabric that I thought I would like and that would also go with her nursery and I just reupholstered it and it didn't even cost me more than like $7 I believe. Actually no it was cheaper than that because I think it was like, yeah no it was $7 because I think I got like 3 yards and then I used a 40% off discount coupon so i just came home reupholstered it i didn't do that great of a job but it's good enough for me <laughs> so and i think it looks super cute so that was a really good deal i got so that was twenty dollars plus um the seven dollars that i spent on the fabric as far as her bassinet um which converts into a co-sleeper you can pick it up and put it in the bed next to you because me i'm too paranoid um uh, i don't think i'm comfortable with my baby just on me while i'm asleep because i sleep crazy so i will feel more comfortable if she's in a co-sleeper right next to the bed so the best neck converts to a co-sleeper and sorry and um so that was really awesome and my cousin actually gave me that for free boom um also i didn't picture this but my friend also gave me a pack and play for free as well and um and you can actually add like accessories and stuff to it which i also saw those things on offer up as well or facebook market um so that's pretty much how i did the whole nursery um the netting i got off offer up for five dollars um the stick the wall decals are stickers that i got off of lightinthebox.com for $3.99 super cheap um i made her letters with some floral and just cardboard not cardboard um they're like wood letters that you can get at hobby lobby once again you can use the discount code for that and i am that obnoxious customer i will do like five different transactions just so i can use the coupon for each thing because saving money is important i'm just saying um so that was pretty much it did i write down everything sorry y'all because i'm so forgetful i just want to make sure i touch on it so moving on to um some things that i got for a really good price um so i had one of my baby showers and i got a lot of great things however i did not have a lot of receiving blankets bibs 
stuff like that and i also decided that i was going to cloth diaper as well to save money um because i mean if you think about it you're going to do a lot of laundry anyway so what difference does it make if you're washing cloth diapers every two to three days you know what i mean so cloth diapers are an investment however you save thousands by the time you're done as long as you have patience and you're dedicated to it um it's a really good investment um some people invest about three four hundred dollars once again i am a mummy on a budget so i um did secondhand cloth diapers and doff um, cloth diaper covers now there are different types of cloth diapers there are the um all-in-ones which is literally like oh, i can show you guys examples actually is this all in one yeah this is all in one yeah so this is an all-in-one cloth diaper and basically it has the liner already in it and you literally just put it on baby and you snap it's kind of equivalent to a disposable diaper and you snap and as soon as they use the bathroom take it off throw it in the pail and wash it um then they have pocket diapers is this a pocket diaper no this is all in one diaper let me see i have so many but while i'm looking so cloth diapers are pretty pricey um uh-uh they're pretty pricey um they're usually between for a good brand quality they start at about 12 to 14 dollars and they can go up to like 30. um and then so many okay so this is a pocket diaper yeah so this is a pocket diaper and you basically just kind of like insert the insert in here and then there are covers which to me are really awesome this is a big cover do i have a small one i can show y'all well it's all the same you'll get the picture um but with this you can like snap it to come to the baby size and whatnot but a cover is basically literally what it is just a cover so you would get a pre-fold which i'm not getting up to get a pre-fold or flat excuse me excuse me i am pregnant you guys give me bear with me um you get it and you wrap it up um you fold it to the baby it's um so many different folds you can do and then you just put a snappy on and then you just put the cover over it because this is gonna you know it's waterproof and basically you can use the covers up to like three times a day so when the baby uses um release themselves you can take it off redo another one just wipe the cloth cover down and just put it back on um so it's really convenient it's super helpful that way you're not constantly like going through diapers so um that was really good so for me i got like for one shopping little extravagance i got nine cloth diapers for twenty dollars that is really good anybody can tell you that that's awesome and they were like bum geniuses thirsties um what was the other brand was it charlie banana they were really good brand diapers that's the point like they're they're good brand um diapers that are super expensive and i also got how many did she give me 10 this lady gave me no 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 that's not right no she gave me 15 15 cloth diapers they were charlie banana bum genius and i forgot the other one and she gave me those for 30 dollars and then i have a really good friend back home in memphis um my hometown who gave me a box of covers pocket diapers flats um pre fold some still brand new it was just really awesome so I basically got my whole collection of cloth diapers for next to nothing like for under a hundred dollars um also i i went and got like i got 40 receiving blankets 40 bibs nine blankets for about 40 bucks and they were like half of them were still brand new with the tag on them um because you know as parents you get so many um that you might not even end up using them all and people just like well let me just sell it so you can find things for really cheap if you want to look um just show you guys some examples like brand new still in the bag um these are like still 
with the tags on them. And then these are used, but I mean, you can't even tell they're so clean. I got so many, where are the blankets? I don't feel like digging all the way down in here, I'm trying to find everything. But yeah, so I got a lot of stuff secondhand because it was just ridiculous when I went into the store to see how much, like this right here, this is a five pack. But when I went in Baby's R Us, there was like a three pack of receiving blankets for $17.99 that is crazy that is just too much money um it's just too much money so i was like i can't do that so i'm gonna find stuff secondhand wash it and call it a day um i mean i just feel like babies have a lot of hand-me-downs anyway at least in my family they do so that was that um i think i pretty much touched on all of the um budgeting just my advice is to don't feel like you're too good for second hand i mean what are you gonna do when you're done with your baby stuff you're either most likely gonna save it for your next baby hand me down or you're gonna give it to a family member or a friend hand me down um so i just i personally did not have any problems buying second hand and i love all my stuff that i got and like i said half of it still has a tag on it so that's just me so moving on really fast because this video is getting super long um excuse me i am 35 weeks now so i kind of have a what's in my bag what's in my hospital bag so obviously first things first diaper bag <laughs> can you see that it's super big diaper bag i like backpacks i think they're super convenient um and basically I would just pretty much have all of her stuff in there. The cloth diapers, which I already showed you. Um, also, some newborn baby bottles and passies. Um, got some... Oh, wait. This isn't... Yeah. Passies. Um, I got this twist shake bottle that this amazing company sent me. Um, it's like to help reduce colic. And it's super popular in Switzerland. They have like a... Um, a nipple that is basically close to like the mom's nipple um to help soothe the baby um and i also have some dr brown um newborn bottles as well that i need to boil by the way um i have my breast pump which i'm not picking up because that's a lot of work i'm not gonna do that <laughs> um i have some wipes the baby's first outfit the photography outfit um let's see what else and got my own stuff so my toiletries which would be like my um toothpaste soap um deodorant stuff like that i packed my robe um change of clothes slippers i have my portable speaker i'll be using this during labor and delivery um because i'm having a hypnobirth so i'm trying to be at one with myself peaceful meditating as i deliver this baby naturally oh and that's another thing so um if you're looking for a doula but you're not really wanting to um spend a lot of money or you may not have a lot of money um for me, I searched a long time before I found a quality doula that I could afford. And because um, most doulas, they're like 800, 1,000, 1,200, all this stuff. I found a doula for $300. It was amazing. Like, I was so happy. Um, some doulas will work with you. Some doulas, um, according to the area you might be in, change the price. Or you can just honestly kind of talk to them about your situation, what you're looking for. Um, there's somebody out there for everybody. I prayed and God blessed me with amazing doula. She's wonderful. Um, and $300 is a steal. And she's she's great. She's beautiful. Um, and she also offers really good postpartum care where she can come and cook, um, clean for you, cook for you, um, let you catch a nap while she watches the baby. I mean, all kind of stuff. So definitely um, don't give up if you're out there looking for a doula but not thinking you can afford it because... Preparing for a baby gets really expensive, so I get it, trust me. Um, what else do I have? Oh my god, are these muffins? I love these. I didn't even know there was in there. Snacks. <laughs> don't forget to pack snacks. Um, don't forget your birthing plan. 
that's important if you plan on having one um let's see did i touch up on everything pump all the baby stuff my stuff um hmm. yeah i think that's pretty much it um so that's all i have um i'm gonna put the discount code um at the bottom below for the twist shake bottle and don't forget to download those apps guys there are also stores i know um here we have a once upon a baby that has really um nice stuff that was previously on or still new um for a really cheap price so i definitely encourage you guys babies get super expensive super pricey um and you also want to have money for after when the baby gets here because obviously mom can't work mom has to i mean you're medically not able to work and you know mom needs to spend that time bunny with baby and you might have one income or no income so you definitely want to save as many coins as possible while preparing for your baby and make sure your baby has everything that he or she needs so to all my moms out there i really hope this was helpful and yeah let me know if you have any questions just comment below I'm just going to give you guys a close-up of everything. Um, so this is the bassinet. It was a hand-me-down from my wonderful cousin. Thanks, cousin. So completely free. Um, super cute. And it's detachable, too. So I'm probably going to use it as a co-sleeper um, at night while I'm sleeping because I'm a wild sleeper. Um, this right here is just a, a cut of fall fur that i got from hobby lobby with a coupon amen all right um and it was ten dollars after the coupon this is just an old shelf that i painted white and it's just got a couple of her things on there um how cute is this doll right her grandmother got her this i thought it was super cute um these are just some handmade headbands that i made um and another Another little sign from grandma. Um, I got these wall decals from lightinthebox.com for $3.99. Her letters I got from Hobby Lobby and the flowers as well. Um, like I said, I used my 40% off coupon that is accessible to everybody. Um, <laughs> you can use the Retail Me Not app and they always have a million coupons on there and that same coupons always there the netting i got from um offer up as you know and that was five dollars um here is a close-up of the bella baby crib bedding set retailing at two hundred dollars isn't that crazy i just think that's really insane for baby stuff just saying and the crib of course that was super cheap that turns to a toddler bed this actually belonged to my grandmother um she was obsessed with Minnie Mouse and I actually gave her this for Valentine's Day and she was so excited and she ended up passing away two months later but we're gonna have Minnie very close to baby girl when she gets here but um let me just step back so you guys could see the bedding set and here's the other little piece that you can't really see um because i got it all tucked away pretty much um now this might be like my proudest investment <laughs> the chair and ottoman the glider you guys now it does look a little crazy i didn't reupholster it well enough um and nor did i feel like trying to redo it again um so yeah i reposted it i got it for 20 dollars still can't believe i got it for 20 dollars super exciting um so yeah this is everything you guys up close up close up close